Hey everyone, so I'm having a massive clear out to make space for the future and therefore the garage that I normally film in has been filled with a mountain of stuff that I've decided to part ways with. It's mostly catered so far, but today I'm on to motherboards. I honestly have no idea what motherboards I still have, what CPUs I have, or what still works. So I'm just going to dive in and see what I come across. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the first motherboard of the hunt. <laughs> it's the Asus Sabertooth Z97 Mark I. Ah, oh, and the uh, throw eye shield, which is good because I usually immediately lose these, so it's good to see that a uh, past Lauren <laughs> decided to put it in with the box. bags are ripped, so it doesn't quite fit in here. It's quite tight. Uh -huh. <laughs> that looks really nice. Can you see? Especially, you can't you can't really tell because of the bright studio light, but I do have like a purple hue. Looks very nice. I really love this military look. Like I don't I don't like very much that the new tough stuff has moved away from it. I mean I do like the style of the new tough boards, but I do really love the military look too, and would love them to do like a throwback, and then for Corsair to do like a new updated C70, and it's just uh you know you like you know bring bring back the military theme, basically. But yeah, so this is the uh, the Z97 chipset, and I did so many videos for the launch of the Z97. Like I did the most snowboard videos I've ever done for a, a launch, which is uh, I, I must say I'm kind of proud of. <laughs> that was uh, probably when the channel was doing its best. Um, but yeah, despite that, I can't remember what CPUs I have for this, so I will go check because I've got a memory like a goldfish and have to frequently re-watch my old videos like a loser so give me a second okay so this is fourth generation which means that I have a 4770k which is my server and a 4790k which I recently used in a video on 2060 um, and that was in an MSI motherboard so it's probably still on the MSI motherboard but yeah so I really love this board and I'm um, giving it, so I'm just going to get it packaged back up, but yeah, uh, on to the next one. So next we've got the Asus Republic of Gamers Crosshair 6 Hero Rubber Board. Oh, it's got a CPU in it. Oh, so this was the, uh, as you can see. So this was the pre-release Ryzen chip that I was actually never supposed to have. Um, but this CPU is first generation Zen, but it was manufactured before product names and clock speeds were decided on. So I do really like owning it because it's like, Ryzen is the most significant industry changing launch of my entire time being interested in PCs. And like, there aren't many people that can say that they've got an older Ryzen chip than me, so I just, yeah, I really love having the chip, but like, sentimentality. Like, the board's great, it still supports current generation chips, including the Ryzen 9 3950X, so it's still well worth holding on to, so that was, yeah, moving on. <laughs> so, I just found three more rock boxes. Problem is, they're all empty, and I don't have a single mini ITX or micro ITX build together at the moment, so I have no idea where these boards have got to. They're probably just, they must just be in a case which is in its box, so it's going to be fun to try and find those. Um, but I did find a lot, a lot of Rare Rare Shields. Ooh, a lot. <laughs> um, and I realised I didn't check the uh, the Crosshair 6 Zero to see if it had its Rare Rare Shield, so I'm just going to. One uh, Rory A shield reunited with its board. Okay, so I've just found something so old. 
so old that I would definitely count it as retro, even though Victor Bart and Retro Machines were raging at that because it's nowhere near old enough for him, but this is definitely, I consider it retro, <laughs> the Gigabyte Z77 D3H. Oh, and we got a Rero Shield. I was actually talking about Rero Shields kind of recently on Twitter, and I mentioned spongy ones, it's almost like spongy. Like, yeah, like, look, like, spiky, spiky. Spongy, spongy, you see? No, okay. <laughs> um. Ooh. <laughs> I actually really love the blue. That's really, the blue is so nice. Like, I know normally when you look at older parts, you're like, wow, look at the, look at the bright colours of the PCB, but I really like the blue, and the blue and the white, I'm feeling it. Um, yeah, there's a CPU in there. Uh, so the 2500K, which means that this might be the first CPU I ever used, because I did buy two uh, i5 2500Ks. But yeah, um, this area is a lot empty than I'm used to, a lot emptier. Yeah. It's pretty. <laughs> So from one of my oldest boards to one of my newest, the uh, ROG Maximus 9 Hero motherboard. And it has a CPU in it. I have absolutely no idea what this CPU is though. I didn't make a video on it or overclock it, so I have even less memory on it than uh, usual. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to Google this. But on a side note, um, what do you think of a video where I like I silly bench all of my CPUs and overclock them? Do you think that could be fun? If so, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so this is a Skylake i7 6700K. I do also have a Broadwell E9600K in my newly retired workstation build. Um, unfortunately, these CPUs are as new as I get of Intel, so I'm a little bit out of date. I do remember looking at this motherboard alongside the, uh, the Crosshair 6 Hero. Um, but I was much more interested in Ryzen than Skylake. But I think that's fine because the first few years of my channel were just like entirely Intel, so it's it's kind of good to go the other way for a change. But it's a nice looking board, I should definitely do something with it. Does it have a Rero shield though? That is the question. No, it does not. Okay, none of these are, are right. Nope, completely lost, lost this one's a Rero shield. So we're going to try and find that. So I have three more Z97 boards. Uh, the Z97 Gaming 7 by MSI. And this one's... Uh, Motherboard's not in its box, and I'm pretty sure that it's with my 4790K in my C70, so um, I will get that out of the C70 later. I've then got two more ROG boards, the, uh, the Hero and the Ranger. Um, the Maxima 7 Hero and the Maxima 7 Ranger, which they're almost exactly the same board apart from like the VRM, so... I should probably get rid of the Ranger because I mean like making space is the entire point of doing all this. I'm not sure what an old board would be worth though like this um, but I mean with only Patreons and AdSense with no sponsors you know every every little helps. <laughs> Silver or Arisha too that's a prime candidate. <laughs> So next I have a Gigabyte Z87X UD3H. So this is a Z87 board and I honestly have zero need for it because all of the CPUs from this generation also work on Z97 and as you've seen I've got a lot of boards. Um, a lot of Z97 boards. 
so this board should go. However, something very interesting about this board is that it was actually sent to me with this big bend in it, which is strange because it is a retail sample. Um, and whilst it probably works fine, I can't sell it with a big bend in it. But equally, I'm not binning a perfectly working motherboard, like, well, a, a probably <laughs> working motherboard. I'm not bidding it, so I don't, I'm kind of just stuck with it, but I mean, if for some reason you want a bend, uh, Z87X UD3H, and you're willing to pay postage and packaging up front, because I'm very skint, <laughs> then uh, you, can, you can have it if you want it. Oh, that I should remove the, uh, the water block bits first. There was the rear IA as well inside, did you see that? Hello! <laughs> so it's a new day now. I was too tired so I had to go to bed. But uh, yeah, carrying on from where I left off yesterday, I've got another Republic of Gamers board. The Maximus 8 Hero. So this one is said 170, meaning that it will pair with my 6700K that's on my 9 Hero. Do I need both boards if I only have one CPU? Probably not. But if this is my only Z170 board, and it's not that old, then I kind of feel like I should hold on to it. I'm not sure. This is this is going on the mobile list now. This was the board that I made the, the final link video. That was fun. So I've managed to dig out my yellow Dimmers Tech test bench, and look what's on it. A ROG Maximus 4 Gene Z. Now this is Z68, so it's even older than the Gigabyte Z77 board. But there's a CPU in there, if I just move memory. So you can have a better look. So yeah, this is my other i5-2500K. I really would love to do some like retro Sandy Bridge overclocking for old time's sake. But for now, I'm going to reunite it with its box. So I managed to find both of my two Maximus 5 Formula motherboards, although I have lost the box to both of them, and they're also in pretty bad states. Like, I don't know if you can, uh, if the camera can see very well, but this one's starting to look like it kind of has like a patina from all the sun damage from when I used to keep everything in a conservatory. And this one kind of looks like it's been rained on. It's also lost the, uh, the USB 3.0 header because they're always falling off. Can't use it. Can you see in there? But yeah, so I'm thinking that both of these boards have to go, although first they'd be really fun to use in that like sandy bridge overclocking video, especially because I can just like pump water through them and not worry about like, you know, if they're going anywhere, I don't have to worry. But yeah, speaking of CPUs, this is an Ivy Bridge i5-3570K. So I've just found this box with two HEDT CPUs in it. So the first is a Sandy Bridge E i7-3820. So this is X79, so I know that I don't have any motherboards for it. Um, so I'm only really holding onto it because why not, you know, and it's, it doesn't take up much space. Plus it's an ES chip, so I can't really sell it. And then this is a Haswell E i7-5960X. And I used to have two of those, which was very <laughs> exciting. But unfortunately one had to go back. Um, but this was very expensive, back when Intel could charge just a huge amount for 8 cores. So thankfully, Ryzen has come out since then. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so keep those safe. <laughs> so next, I've got a couple of AMD APUs. So first is an A105800K for socket FM2, and that's on a Sotec A75 ITX Wi-Fi motherboard. And then I've got an A8 free 800 on fm1 socket on a gigabyte a75m s2v so these are both very old now and can't be of any use to anyone surely um also with the gigabyte board i've just got the board and the rio shield i don't have the box so i'm thinking of getting rid of this one and just keeping the uh the fm2 itx board So I just dug out my Corsair C70 and recovered my MSI 797 Gaming Server motherboard. So I'm just going to get it packed away in its box. 
and the CPU in it is the i7-4790K, which I'm hoping to delete at some point. So, I'm pretty sure that I'm almost out of motherboards, so I'm only finished. Although, I do still have three mystery rear I.O. shields, as well as two empty rock boxes, so I guess I should go digging. Found them! <laughs> they were in my failed Fantex dual system build. I do need to have another go at this concept, but with like, modern hardware. Um, but yeah, I really wasn't expecting to find another CPU. It says on it QE70, and Google tells me that it's an i5-4570. The Maxima 6 Impact is my highest end mini ITX motherboard, but it is looking a little tired, and one of the buttons on the rear I.O. has broken off. Also, the uh, the like audio daughter board is nowhere to be seen, so I think I'm going to let this one go. Plus, it will give me the motivation to get a new mini ITX motherboard in. The jean though can stay, and one of the random Rare shoots matches it, so that's good, and obviously I'll move the CPU across to it before I pack it away. Oh, I've got another one for Victor Bart. This one must count as retro, right? It's actually my oldest motherboard, the first one I ever got, so definitely keeping it. If you want an example of how bad my memory is, Remember when I was talking about how 6th generation Intel is as new as I have? Well I completely forgot about this board and CPU, even though I only just got it and showed it in my most recent video. It's one of the two chipsets that I had the option to choose in between for the budget ray tracer build. This is the Gigabyte Z390 UD motherboard, and then this is the Intel i5-9600K. So I do have video plans for this because I'd love to go back and benchmark the road not taken. Um, yeah, I can't believe that I forgot about this board. It looks so nice too. Finally, these are the boxes to all motherboards that I currently have deployed in systems. So this is where all of my new Horizon boards and CPUs have got to. Throughout this process, I've been adding everything to a spreadsheet with an Intel side and an AMD side. And these are all the motherboards I'm keeping. And then if I add in the CPUs, so I have managed to get rid of quite a few motherboards, 25% to be exact, which adds up to a fair amount of space saved. But this is where I'm going to end this video for now, because I've been rambling about motherboards and Rio shields for far too long. Um, if you managed to watch the entirety of this video, then I'm amazed, because I think this might be my longest video in which I basically achieved nothing that I've ever uploaded. But yes, if you like it, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for my patrons. And thank you for watching.